In other news, local taxi operator recently joined forces with Kakao Corporation and is now introducing new services utilizing the latest in IT. Or Kurini tells us more about the changes that the team up could bring. This is Weigo Blue, recently introduced by a Korean taxi franchise business called Tago Solutions. What's special about Wego Blue is that it's a so-called platform taxi presented in collaboration with Kakao Mobility, the operator of the nation's largest taxi hailing app. Platform taxis aim to combine the latest information technology to vehicles, for example, putting the taxi meter on the app. Drivers who use the program cannot refuse passengers, so that's a benefit for customers. Although the fare is about three U.S. dollars more than an ordinary taxi, the company says the amount could change in the future. Users of Wego Blue can enjoy a diverse range of convenience services inside the vehicle. For instance, they can enjoy fresh air from an air purifier and charge their smartphones for free. Drivers say their daily lives have improved as well. Because I'm a Wego Blue driver now, I get a certain amount of pay every month. In the past, I had to pay a certain portion of my daily earnings to the operator. Wego Blue is the result of an agreement earlier this month between the government, the taxi industry, and Kakao Mobility. One of the main parts of that deal was that the taxi industry would launch an innovative platform taxi in the first half of this year. The vice president of Tago Solution believes this is a good start. The new taxi means that the IT field and offline transportation businesses are collaborating, understanding each side, and seeking ways for mutual development. However, experts say a bigger issue remains. Although the new taxi does not allow drivers to refuse passengers, this change does not mean much in terms of share economy or the fourth industrial revolution. They need to discuss issues related to ride sharing and autonomous vehicles. To make the shared economy take off, this expert said the government needs to deregulate. Kuruni, Arirang News.